All right, LA Canyons is the final free room that uh, I want to share. Um, and it's not that it's new. It's not new. It's not updated. There's nothing refreshing about this at all, except that uh, I just felt like driving it. And since I started down the road with uh, the Shotoko Revival Project and the re latest release of that, and last night uh, we did some Pacific Coast Highway driving, really bad driving, I thought that I'd close it out with uh, the second introduction to Free Roam that I got after Pacific Coast Highway, um, which is this uh, LA Canyons. Again, Southern California Drive. Um, it is a route that is, I think as long if not a little longer than the Nordschleife, which is pretty crazy um, and um, it's just a fun a fun drive through um, some roads that uh, if you're uh, a California dweller and a car culture enthusiast you may have driven um, some of these roads you may have seen some of the scenery so that's why I'm out here uh, wanted to have a little bit of fun and then uh, enjoy it and share it with you and just sort of chill um, so Let's go on ahead and uh, see what we see. Got the same AI settings as I've had previously. Which doesn't take a lot because of the uh, new spawning capability. Um, and uh, so I've got six six competitors configured and they just respawn around me and it feels like real traffic. Some of this may feel a little bit familiar. Um, may feel a little bit like um, Pacific Coast Highway because uh, it's the same author. It did both. Um, this was a little bit later, although updates have been maintained. Um, up through, I think, 2020 was the last major revision for both Pacific Coast Highway and for uh, LA Canyon. So, uh, a fun drive though I'm having fun just chasing right now because Raven Nutty is uh, just an accident waiting to happen. But running in a pack of cars is a little bit like uh, a PCA uh, run in terms of, you know, just sort of enjoying the road with a group of other cars.
but the other one that I enjoy, I, there's some hill climbs that are a lot of fun. There's a uh, California Highways, I think it's called, that I, I think I did uh, around uh, New Year's time when I was recounting some of my... Uh, my joys uh, of the year in sim racing and uh, recounting all the hours and such I did in different sims. I think I did that drive as uh, when I had that conversation. I think I may have actually driven this a lot more than I drove Pacific Coast Highway because once this came out, I, uh, where I found it, I started driving it a lot more than uh, Pacific Coast Highway for some reason. It's not as much a straight line. There's a little, it's like a loop instead of a end-to-end -end straight line that you just have to do a turnabout and drive back so maybe that's why I drove this more but like the the track aspect of this is kind of nice this actually could be set up as a track for a uh, proper race well I guess any of them can but when I say proper race I mean you could actually do laps on this could actually be a lot of fun. This will probably be the last Assetto Corsa thing that I do for at least a little while. Um, not that I don't love it, don't enjoy it, and don't drive it quite often, uh, but it's probably not something exciting to, to share more than the abuse that uh, you've taken this week with... Uh, with my indulgence here. Um, I am enjoying driving some other sims than I racing for a little while. I get used to my new pedals, get a feel for them. I'm going to be doing a lot of driving coming up, though. Um, in uh, October, we, of course, have the Petit Le Mans that uh, Schadenfreude Fodder will be driving in. We're looking forward to that. And then uh, in November, there's the Fuji eight-hour race. I think it's eight hours. Might be six. Anyway, uh, Fuji race. And uh, then the day after that, so that's on the 16th of November, the day after that is... Um, November 17th, <laughs> no, uh, is the uh, Make-A-Wish um, Drive for Wishes. And the Drive for Wishes is a fundraiser, as you can imagine. We have a campaign page that is up, so look for information on that if you've not seen it already. Um, I did post uh, on some social media today about it, so um, if you're part of my social media network, uh, you may have already seen some of that. Um, but we would love your support. Um, it's a great cause. Um, you know, terminally ill kids, or seriously ill kids, uh, around the world, um, giving them... Uh, a little bit of hope, a little bit of joy uh, in their all too short lives. Um, and uh, just a good a good thing. It's a good time of year for it as well. Um, it is the holidays coming into November. 
um, get your mind right uh, and focused on uh, what you have to be thankful for um, and uh, what the, the season of giving is really about. And uh, it's, it's one of the things that I like to do um, annually is, you know, do something for kids, uh, kids that are in need, um, kids that have um, a struggle. Because, you know, adults, we're used to the struggle. Um, oftentimes, we create our own struggles. And uh, kids, kids are innocent. Kids are... Um, we need to protect the kids. And so it's, it's nice to do something that has such a, a strong sense of mission around uh, making kids' lives a little better. And uh, we do hope that you will help support us in the race um, uh, if you can donate that's great and we'll provide the links to do that I'll include the uh, the link in the description of this video just since I mentioned it here but also um, if you can't donate and that's fine some people aren't in a position to be able to, to donate money but you can uh, share the links with uh, the rest of your friends your network your family um, and uh, can also uh, participate the day of by uh, joining in the fun with the stream um, watch the stream support us uh, cheer us on um, that would mean a lot to us um, and uh, is just as valuable as any money you might might have in your pocket you're willing to, to share so yeah, this is our second year doing race last year the race was uh, at road Atlanta and uh, it was a I think a six hour race um this year um no 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 it wasn't at road atlanta last year it was at le mans last year i apologize um and this year it is at road atlanta so uh it'll start at uh at, i think it's 8 a.m eastern time on november 17th and uh, of course, the the campaign is up and running. So anytime you want to donate um, between now and when the campaign closes, um, and I think it closes uh, the week after the race, so uh, you'll have a nice opportunity if uh, you can give a little bit now, a little bit later. That's welcome. Or if you just want to give once, that's also fine too. And uh, at the very least, join us for the stream. Um, I believe all the guys are going to try to make an appearance this year. I think it was uh, Volker, Krebs, and I did the bulk of it last year, if I'm remembering correctly. Um, but uh, and I want to say, I think Rosenthal and Williams both joined, but I don't know that they drove. And I don't think Rob was available. But regardless, we we want to do it again this year. Um, and actually, when I say we, I made the executive decision that we were doing it again this year, and I'll let the guys know. <laughs> so it's 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 possible that I'll drive it solo, and if so, that may even be even more entertaining. Um, and I'll need your help to keep me entertained uh, as well during the race, and to get you know some support. But I think the guys are going to participate, and uh, and you've seen some of our videos. Um, we get a little uh, little crazy, little raucous, um, blue senses of humor, all of us, and uh, really enjoy each other's company come race day. Um, even when we're not having a great day on the the race front, it's it's a uh, always a fun time in October I don't remember the exact date it's somewhere in the teens I want to say the 16th but I don't think that that's right um, I think it's like the 13th or something like that uh, maybe it's even the 12th um, is the Petit Le Mans um, iRacing special event and uh, that is a fun event, mostly because um, it's also going to be on Rotodyna. <laughs> um, so we'll get a lot of practice at Rotodyna. 
but the thing about Road Atlanta that makes it such a unique and interesting track to race is it's actually it's relatively small track, relatively small tight track. So for Petit Le Mans, it's a multi-class race. So you have uh, prototypes and GT3s racing um, in tight quarters. Oh, he... Really threw it in there, didn't he? Um, so yeah, uh, we're going to, I believe, given who is driving the race, I believe that we're going to be driving in the 963 GTP, Porsche 963. Um, so we'll be driving the prototype. So there will be multi-class traffic in our race. Um, sometimes if you we do GT3 racing, uh, the way the splits work out is it's just an exclusively GT3 race. And that's not as fun. So we'll probably drive a prototype just to get into the multi-class traffic. Should be a lot of fun. And we'll also, I think, for the uh, Make-A-Wish, let me know what you think of this. Uh, so give me your comments. Um, I'm thinking about doing some giveaways. Um, we, of course, could do something rather pedestrian, like uh, like $20 in iRacing gift card kind of exchange. Um, that's one sort of thing that I'm thinking about doing is one of the uh, one of the prizes um, and uh, we have some uh, nice swag now up on the site um, I've been using stream elements and was using their uh, their merch uh, configuration uh, for stream elements and they changed vendors, I guess, behind the scenes. And so we had to basically rebuild the store. So I designed some uh, new hats um, and a couple of new shirts because um, I had to rebuild everything from scratch. So nothing that was on the old site, uh, old, old store is available anymore. Um, but the hats are higher quality. Um, the embroidery on the hats is multicolor now instead of just one color. Um, have a, uh, or say, uh, Spashmacher Rennsport hat and shirt. Um, but I also uh, created some, um, well, an, uh, kind of a nice high, high quality embroidery um, shirt for Schadenfreude fodder and a Schadenfreude Fodder hat. And the Schadenfreude Fodder hat, I think, turned out quite nice. So if you want to support the team and uh, rep us with our colors, um, you can, of course, buy that. But uh, let me know what you think about uh, that as a, uh, a prize. And, and, of course, when I'm talking prize, um, it's sort of like uh, for top donor of the day or within certain hours we'll figure out how the rules are going to work but um you know you can uh, donate and uh, possibly uh win some prizes um it's incentives not prizes per se sort of door prizes for participating um but let me know what you think or if you think that's too cheesy or if you have another other idea that i should probably look at uh, definitely would be open to hearing thoughts um because i want to make people 
feel like they're engaged and involved in the process and uh, oftentimes the way you do that is you gamify the system a little bit give them some incentive to uh, participate and get raucous and compete with other people the tight section here God damn it. That was going pretty well until that. Or does it feel too damaged, but I know it is. Unfortunate, almost made it all the way around without incident. Overcommitted on a tight corner. That happens. I didn't knock my lights out. If I had knocked my lights out, I couldn't keep going. So. So, uh, I think we're back where we started. So, again, uh, this is LA Canyons. Um, fun little drive. And uh, hopefully uh, you enjoyed this, despite my one incident. Damn it. Um, but again, uh, give me some feedback on uh, what you think about the November 7th uh, Make-A-Wish uh, International Fundraiser, the Drive for Wishes 2024, um, and uh, some incentive prizes. And... Uh, whether or not I should do that or not. Definitely like your feedback. Um, I'll include the link in the description and uh, have a good rest of your night. Thanks. Spaß machen Rennsport.